Hey, welcome back to my 1.16.5 modded survival. You'll see here that I start things off by collecting all of my fruits and veggies. I was growing quite a bit around my base, so it was nice to get them all collected, and I even bred my animals, lots of pigs here, and even getting another cow. I was checking on my pulverizer and pulverized some lead ore. I had lots of energy left. And I made the classic Minecraft fishing rod. Three sticks, two string, and a dream. So I headed down to the lake nearby and started fishing. I actually have a fishing mod installed, so I got lots of new fish to collect and I even got the regular Minecraft stuff as well. After my fishing rod was nearly broken, I looked at everything I had fished up and I was pretty happy. I even got a treasure chest and a lockbox from aquaculture. And even a message in a bottle. Kind of weird, but all right. I went back to that same lake a little bit later and collected some gravel, sand, and clay. This was for, of course, Tinker's Construct, a staple in Minecraft modding. After doing a little bit of that, I actually found a spawner and two chests, which gave me an Unbreaking 3 fishing rod for lots more fishing and a leather hat and some other stuff. When I got back to my house, I crafted up the grout from Tinker's Construct and started smelting all of it so I could make my smeltery coming up soon. When that was smelting, I decided to do some side tasks like breeding my animals again and just overall farming. I made some more chests to store my stuff because it was kind of overflowing. This one had tools in it. This one was just random items. And I smelted up some dust as well as made the rest of my smeltery from all those seared bricks I got. After I was done crafting, I decided to construct the smeltery just from I had from memory, but obviously this mod had changed from when I had last played it. So I had to do a little bit of YouTube searching after I did this setup that I did here. I knew that I could put lava in here and even smelt some ore. So I went and mined a quick vein of iron underground. Back at the smeltery, I put some iron in the melter, but apparently you had to do like some small scale version of the smeltery first. And then um, I could put like uh, some copper into a heater or something like that. And that would help me get the smeltery controller, which overall completes like the smeltery. So that's what I did. I finished my building my smeltery from the way I actually had remembered it. And it worked out this time. Look at that big smeltery. I then made some patterns like I already remembered and tried to make some of the stuff that I thought was still out in it, but it actually wasn't, so which is a bummer, but I did place down two crafting stations, a part builder and a tinker station, most of which were correct. I got all the parts together to make a stone pickaxe just to test things out, and it did what I thought it would do, which would mine stone. At my house, again, I made some sky slime boots from the slimes that keep popping up near my base and a sky slime sling, lots of S's there, which would actually just bombard me around my base. I was super happy with this. Look how high and far I was actually flying. On the treetops, I went. Then I decided to upgrade that tier one solar panel into a tier two solar panel. This would just give me a little bit more power from when I smelted ores and put them in the pulverizer. Then I made some cobblestone stairs and did a project I've been meaning to do for a while, which was add a little staircase down to my farm. It was pretty easy and took me about a minute just to put down some, some stairs and I thought it looked decent. And then of course I had to light it up because I don't want mobs at my base. In my house, I actually had trapped a fox and he was kind of cute and running around. So I decided to feed him some berries because I had lots of them. Look at that guy. I then made a silver saber from the Spartan weaponry mod, as well as this iron great sword just to test things out. And I got lots of achievements from that. I decided to keep going. So I made a wooden club and then turned it into a studded club. With all these new weapons, I knew that it was time to enchant. I pretty much put sharpness one on all of my weapons and then efficiency one and protection one on some other stuff. I was now geared up insanely well and it was time to go to the nether. 
and immediately I was faced with my first battle with my new weapons, which was a pillager and a spider. Took those out easy. And then in the nether, I found my first bit of things to explore, which are like this ruined place. I don't know, ruined nether history. So I just explored in there and lucky me, there were cool banners and it was just cinematic overall. Lots of banners I collected and then lots of chests that were in these little houses. As you can see on the screen, I got things like golden apples and leather armor, gas tiers, everything that I could loot. And I was really happy about it. Even this last chest had two enchanted books. One of them actually was good, Loyalty 3. I put some chests down by my portal and emptied all my items in there, as well as put some of those banners up. I thought they looked really cool. And when I went back out to explore, I wasn't very happy because I died. I then got back my stuff and uh, just overall explored the nether. There was even this well that was abandoned and another structure, which is like this burning temple. In the temple, it was pretty much just a jungle temple, but in the nether, I thought it was super cool. And I tried to do the puzzle, but it didn't work out. So I just mined behind there like I know you could. And there was actually a spawner and two chests. In the chests were my first piece of this mod called Artifacts. This was like a plastic drinking hat, which would help me drink potions faster when I ever did that. And then also this chest just had some like Tinker's Construct seeds and stuff like that. And then after I finished exploring that temple, I bridged all the way up to this nether fortress, which is right next to me. This didn't go well and I got hit off by a basals, whatever that is. So I had to get my stuff back, which took me forever, but I was still in the fortress and happy as I could be. So I killed some withers, even some blazes, and the blazes gave me blaze rods, of course. I even got diamonds and stuff like that. And I got another artifact, which was night vision goggles. It was pretty much exactly what I thought, and I had night vision. I put them on and I look pretty swaggy. So I now have permanent night vision, so hopefully that should help your guys' vision. And then I also killed a weather, which gave me a wither skull, super rare. On my way back to the fortress, I found this ruined portal, which always has good loot. So I took the golden chest plate from there because my gear was broken and even grabbed the two gold blocks. Back at my portal, I emptied all my stuff into the chest and took the stuff that I wanted to bring back to my base. At my base, I put everything away and I thought I looked great. Thanks for watching today.